could very well be the star man again tonight. Those were the players to watch. Presented by RBC Wealth Management, proud partner. Jafal and Pereira are paired in the center of the park for the third straight match. They work hard and they work really well together. And Adrian Heath, he starts in his preferred 4-2-3-1 shape. Center back, staple and solid pair of Tapias and Boxhill. Their goal against Real Salt Lake as well at the weekend via a deflection certainly forced the goal. What will we see tonight? Austin's electric atmosphere so often. It's a short corner. And it's Lima to hit it. It is a traffic kick away. It's a great save. Day Sinclair, low to his left, ring. Well, certainly he was going to put that in. I don't know where my accent is. Here's this save. But that's safe. And the way St. Clair is. Chris Austin boosted tonight by the return of Sebastian Drusi, last year's MVP, runner up in Major League Soccer, returning to the bench this evening. Lunkovist with the cross, all the way across, and Gallagher! <laughs> Wing backs combine, top scorer on target, and Austin lead at home. early on and as the ball comes out Luka Vesny just gets his head up picks out a spot and whips it in and the wing back on the opposite area Gallagher who continues to find the back of the net knowing when he gets into the area it's no problem for him this season steps in and doesn't he control this well takes one decent bounce and falls to him nicely before it hits the but of course uh, I'm sure many of you would have seen there's uh, a significant amount of transfer speculation regarding him in a possible move away now Garcia's in behind here flag stays down again it's Garcia into the penalty area and he squares it to be turned in and once again Rosales has got himself on target and he's put the ball in the net and for now that goal will stand it's his first in Major League Soccer it's a leveler for Minnesota on the road and you just look at Garcia, is he in his own half when the ball is played? And he just looks like he, it's close. There's a slight delay, but Garcia, when he gets into this position, ball across to Rosales, and it's an easy finish. He lifts it a little bit. But that will be key to that. When the ball is initially played, it's not at moments. He was in his own half, but he did drift into the opposition's half. And so it's so close, it's tight they're going to check that it's interesting isn't it because as we watch the replays it looks initially like back line of three Cascante equal to the task but then it's given away to Rosales and Fragapani hits it just wide he says there was a touch from Stuber and it's poor from Pereira he gives it right to Rosales and this from Fragapani it is a save from Stuber slight Short for trap again. This space back for a new angle of approach. Laid off for trap again. They hit it on the right foot. Oh, it's a brilliant shot. Flag has gone up as the ball has ricocheted back. Uh, play will be stopped. But out of his feet. Very little run up to it. And the way it knuckles. He's hit it just off the inside of the, the big toe, and that is flying. It looks as though it's going. Or for Gundes. Closing stages. First half. It's Fagundes. It's cute to the back, and it was a smart move. Cascante there. Radovanovic, he's coming in. It looks like it will be a back four. It makes sense because they're getting pulled apart. The, the back three, the back five. Ethan Finlay turns. Fagundes. It's back for Finlay. Zardes wants it to the back post. Arriving, though, is the connection from Gallagher. He didn't know much about it. Should have dropped, but Finlay, he fought well for it. just comes it ricochets off Gallagher Dotson hits it oh and he's hit the post what a strike that was from 35 yards from Asani Dotson this was flying Dotson he catches all of it my goodness it's the type of ball that it stays hit it just keeps picking up pace but suggesting that Minnesota United are really good and in, in their box defending it in the low block and he went on about that especially with Boxer when you have a man like him this ball's dropping in the penalty area it's Drucci! Welcome back! <laughs> I 
and it's just a simple long throw in. But when that ball bounces around, you can see how true you see. He just peels off, and he comes away way in the sea. If it'll find its way to him, and when it does, he makes no mistake. He's been missing in action for a little bit. But make no mistake, he does not miss knowing where that goal is, and he just slots it nicely into the far corner, doesn't he? It's a high one into the box, Boxall's underneath it, drops to be hit and deflected off the post, it's going to go into the net though, and Minnesota have got an equaliser, and Sadie Dodson's going to claim it. Once again, Austin cannot hang on to a lead, and the Loons go level. The play on the defenders as that's well. That's right, that's right, because you think for a moment, well, imagine if Dodson didn't turn and go for the ball. Whether it was in the air or slipped in along the deck, they were causing problems, but the back four has made a difference. Trap, Flawani, Flawani is through on goal for Minnesota. Good save from Stuber. Match-winning save, potentially. This is what he's done the last few minutes. Oh, oh, they does so well to get him behind. Dunbar stands over the corner from the far side. In he goes now. All the way through to be hit. Stuber saves again. Great save. Taylor had had the shot that time. Another one from the far side. Time running out. In it goes now. Takes a little touch. Pongwani's there. Tapia's there. Another save. He's standing on his head. Stuber is standing on his head. Taylor's ball, not enough quality. All the way through. And it's over. What a match.